during some part of your cybersecurity journey, you've heard of hacking, right? Or pen testing, penetration testing, I think is the, uh, the better way to say it. Now, you may have started your career in more of like a SOC style role or a security analyst or a security engineer role, but nine times out of 10, the majority of people are starting their careers out from a security perspective in blue team, right? So you have blue team, you have red team, you have purple team. Red team is, you know, the hackers, the penetration testers. Blue team is the defense. The purple team is a combination of both. Usually it's somebody working for the organization doing the penetration testing and everything from an ethical perspective. But if you're at a point where you're like, you know what, I kind of want to learn this pen testing thing. I kind of want to, you know, do it, see how it works. Now, if you don't have, you know, infrastructure, like a home server or a home lab or something like that, you could actually use various different tools to do some hacking testing. And there's one called hack the box. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to set up and hack the box account and test it out. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to hackthebox.com and then you can just click on four individuals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click join for free. And then I can go ahead and I can sign up with Google. So like any Google, you know, email address is fine. All right, so I have an email address here, my username, I'm gonna say Jersey Cyber 92, full name, that's fine, country, United States, and then some birthday stuff. All right, and this account is now created. So as you can see, I can link to any account that I want to, um, but I don't think, let's see, maybe we'll do, uh, the labs one. So we'll do a link to that account. It's verifying and perfect. Okay. So we can go ahead and we could set this up. We chose the app one. So I, I'm assuming that's more app sec. I'm not hundred percent sure though. I'm I've done everything from, you know, software engineer to systems administration. So maybe I'll go and I'll choose systems administration. Click continue here. What are some of my, uh, my interests, penetration testing, software development, application security, uh, we'll do some incident response, click continue, uh, interested in job opportunities. No, thank you. All right, cool. Now this is awesome. We get to be able to choose what path we kind of want to go down here. So, and, and I'm, I'm assuming you can kind of, you know, go back and change this up, but let's go ahead and choose the red teaming one. So for penetration testing and we'll do beginner level. All right. Welcome to hack the box next. Starting point is designed to teach you some basic hacking skills. Cool. With Meow, our first starting point machine, you will discover the power of Nmap and learn how to scan for open ports. Nice. All right, cool. All right, quick tip. If you ever need help to attack a target machine, you need to be on the same network. We highly recommend Pwnbox for beginners. You don't need to set anything up and get started pretty quickly. Cool. And all right, awesome. So this is the very first lab that we'll go through. In the first tier, you will gain essential skills in the world of cybersecurity pen testing. I believe this was the Nmap one that they were referring to. Yep, learn how to use Nmap. All right, perfect. So open walkthrough. To attack the target machine, you must be on the same network. Connect to the starting point VPN using one of the following options, okay? Connect using Pwnbox or open VPN. So you can use your own machine and that's pretty interesting. So use your own machine for hacking, download your VPN configuration, connect from your own environment. That's awesome. Use a pre-configured browser based. This is obviously going to make the most sense for us, especially if we're just trying to use hack the box for everything versus having our own home lab. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Pwn box. All right. United States East starting point. Beautiful start. All right. And it looks like, there's two hours in this in total. Alrighty, and as you can see, we can open the desktop here. It's gonna open up in our browser. Boom, perfect. Spawn the target machine and the IP will show up here. All right, perfect. So now it's asking me, what does the acronym VM stand for? Virtual machine. All right, coolio. What tool do we use to connect to interact with the operating system in order to issue commands via the command line, such as the one to start our VPN connection? It's also known as console or shell. Uh, I think they're referring to terminal. All right, coolio. And I answered all the questions. 
And if I click this open walkthrough here, okay, so the, this is gonna be like the actual instructions to go through this lab, okay? So, okay, I originally thought maybe those questions were just the lab and I'm like, no, 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 wait a minute, okay. But yeah, so it's gonna have us go through it just like this. And the instructions are pretty clear cut, so that's always good. Now, these are text-based. If we go back here, we can see, I'm, I'm assuming the majority of them are in fact text-based. Um, let's maybe click on like Vaughn, for example. Uh, and we will open up the walkthrough. Yeah, so they are all text-based. I'm curious to see how other tools are as well, uh, which I'm sure we'll, we'll take a look at in the coming videos. But if you've played with other tools before, like try hack me, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see how hack the box stands up to other tools.